What is flow? You've probably heard the term flow, and it's, it needs really a, uh, an understanding of what it is. It's defined as a flow is a, mental, is a state of mental, physical, and emotional balance that allows us to feel our best, perform at our peak, and thrive. It is a state of being in the moment, completely engaged in an activity, and completely present in our thoughts and feelings. So what exactly does this mean? And how can we, we learn to, to use flow? Uh, some descriptions of flow from people who were who were in the in that state and doing the research. This is what uh, shows up. Uh, people who runners called runners high. Um, if you're uh, people describe it as being in the zone. Basketball players describe it as being unconscious. Jazz musicians describe it as being in the pocket. And stand up comedy uh, people define it as the forever box. And they're in this kind of a state and. Um, they just seem, it just seems to work and stuff seems to happen. So when can we enter flow? Well, we can enter it in as writing a book, building something, playing sports, being creative. When we're alone, we can do it in group activities called group flow. The team seems to just work harmoniously as if everyone's on the same page. And we've probably seen that in, uh, in situations that we've been in. So what are some indications of flow? Well, some of our indications are when we feel our best, when we perform our best, uh, when we're wrapped up and engaged in intention, we're totally absorbed in something, and we're so focused on the task at hand that things start to disappear. Action and awareness starts to merge. Our sense of self vanishes. Time dilates, meaning it passes strangely. Sometimes it slows down, sometimes it speeds up. And all performance is generally increased. So uh, if we look at people who have described things of uh, states of being in flow. Um, one that comes to mind is is when there was a a, a person rappelling down a, a rope into a cavern, and one of his ropes broke, and there were three ropes in front of him, and his description of what happened was it seemed like he had all the time in the world to make a decision, and he had the three ropes and he's looking at well rope one is uh, is is going to break rope two is probably my best bet and rope three has other problems. So he grabs onto rope two and slides down and gets some burns on his hands, but he lives and he doesn't die. Uh, and his description was that he had all the time in the world to make this decision. People on the outside who were watching him fall and they were like, oh my God, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be in a terrible situation. They described it as it, he made the decision to grab the rope in, in a fraction of a second. So time passes strangely when we're, in, when we're in this state of flow. It said that our true essence, authentic self, our soul, what we long for and when we're in alignment, we are guided joyfully to what some call our destiny, character, and calling resulting in flow. That's just another, another description of it. Um, it's described as the ultimate source code of human performance. It's universal. Everyone, everyone has it. It's as close to near perfection and high-speed decision-making as we can get. It's fundamental to ourselves, meaning we can all do this. And if we can learn how to enter flow more, we can have more success in our lives. <clears throat> it's said that one day in flow a week, you can be five times more productive. If you can be in flow two days a week, you can be a thousand percent more productive than a normal person. Basically, that means you can be as productive and creative in one day as you can over five days of, of without being in flow. So you can work one day, take the rest of the week off, theoretically. Moving out of flow increases the research and development cycle time and costs increase dramatically by not being in flow. So being learning how to be in flow has a lot of advantages to us. In a McKinsey study, it's it's it was found that most people spend 5% of their workday in a state of flow. A 15% increase in flow doubles your work productivity. And over the next few days, I'm going to, I'm going to go over different uh, uh, aspects of flow and how you can learn how to enter flow uh, on demand and by, your, you by yourself and whenever you want to do it. And it's uh, quite interesting when, when, you can, uh, when you can do this. So if, you, if you're interested in learning how to enter flow, I give a class. And one of the ways we teach people how to enter flow is with, with the use of meditation techniques. And what we, we do is dynamic meditation. We don't sit on the, you know, on a rooftop somewhere, or a mountaintop somewhere, and you know, try to reach nirvana. 
we use it for for dynamic uh, creativity and using our mind in order to do more stuff and one of the things we can do is learn how to use meditation to bring our mind to a specific level where we can enter this flow state and we can be more creative and we can tap into all sorts of other areas of our brain that aren't being used our intuition our creativity and our imagination and we can use those in in ways that we never never thought possible so if you're interested go to my website sign up for one of my classes and pay attention over the next few days we'll go more in depth over what what it means to be in flow um, what are the indications how you can get there and uh, and this exciting journey on how to enter flow